Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm coming on today to use up some leftovers. So let's see what we can do with the chuck roast. And I'm going to get you in the stand here. And see if we can get you lined up here with my cabinet so you can see what I'm doing. Last night, or yesterday, I fixed a chuck roast for supper. And Tommy is not very pleased with chuck roast. He doesn't much care for it. He burned his mouth real bad on it one time. And it made him uh, leery of ever eating chuck roast again. So, what I had in the cabinet, or in the freezer, was a couple of pie crust. Frozen pie crust. So, I decided to make him a Mexican pot pie using the chuck roast and the leftovers. So, let me get my stuff out here and we'll get to mixing. Okay. The first thing I have here is my vegetables. Looks like a lot of carrots and it is, but I'm not gonna worry about that, but I'm gonna pour them in my skillet. Okay, this is my broth, and I'm going to use it, I'm going to put some cornstarch in it and use it to uh, make gravy, and here's my beef, and I'm going to put them in there, and I am going to cook this and make the gravy right here on top of the stove. It's, of course, it's fully cooked, and uh, let me set my temperature on my oven. Because I needed it about 400 and uh, and I need a stir and I'll get you over here where you can see the oven now or the stove and I'm gonna make this Mexican style because that's what he likes he loves the Mexican flavors so, to this beef, I'm going to add some cumin. About like that. Maybe a little more. So it flavors the gravy good. I love to use cumin. And we're going to put in some chili powder. And we're just going to just season it all. A little more salt, because I didn't have quite enough salt in it. So we're going to salt it just a little bit more. And we're going to just get this hot. Mix those spices through. There are some potatoes in there, but there's not many. I'm not going to worry about it. This is just for me and him. If I was making this for a family, I would cook another couple of potatoes in and stick them in there. But it's, it's for our supper. So, you know, I'm just using just the leftovers. And I used a whole package of carrots in there, so I had a lot of carrots left. This one didn't get chopped. And I chopped these earlier when I was thinking about making this. So, okay, we've got that started. Now to this, I've probably got a cup and a half of broth here. So I'm going to take cornstarch. And I'm going to add about a spoonful I have cornstarch to that because I'll probably, I hope that's not too much. That may be too much, but we're going to see because it's a little thick already. I'm going to mix it all in. And when this gets uh, warmed up a little, we're going to pour this right over the top and heat it all up. So I'm just mixing my cornstarch right into that bowl to make some gravy. Mm -hmm. Just made a mess with it. Mm 
in. This is going to take about 30 minutes. I hope y'all can stay with me that long. I need my dish rag to wipe up my mess here. Okay. And I'll take these bowls off here. And the lids, put them in the sink. We've had kind of a rough morning, so my dishes haven't been done yet, so that'll be done in a little bit. But, uh, here you can see my skillet may be a little bit better. I'm going to slide over here. Help. That helped. So... I've got to buy light bulbs. I'm telling you, I'm low on bulbs. <laughs> okay. Now this is starting to stick, so I'm going to pour this gravy in there. Not in on the top of it. I'm going to start that to cooking in it. Mmm, it smells good. And I have never done this before. Haven't a clue how it's going to turn out. I'm just hoping for the best. You know, I, I, a lot of times I just cook kind of by the seat of my pants. <laughs> what? Whatever I have in the in the cabinet is what goes in. I add a little more pepper to this. Oh yeah. Now I'm not gonna try to thicken that up completely. Because it'll thicken up in the oven. But I wanted this to have a head start on the oven so it doesn't take so long to cook. That smells wonderful. I'm going to taste it. I'm turning the heat off. I'm going to get a little spoon here. And I'm going to give that a taste to see if my spices are good. Mmm. Mmm. That's just pretty darn good. Okay, I'm going to back that up a little bit. And bring my pie shells over here. And I'm going to get a big spoon. I'm going to dip this in the bottom crust. Okay, emptied that pan out. Uh, my oven didn't come on. Now, now I forgot to push start. Okay, now I'm going to set this one down. And I'm going to turn this pie crust right out of this shell. And I don't normally have these pie crusts, but my daughter bought them for me at Thanksgiving. And so they've been in there for some time. And they're a little bit dry because they have been in there that long. But now I'm going to take my fingers and go around them and try to push them down together. Kind of seal that up. Okay. 
push that back in there a little bit more put that together push it in that gives me a little bit of a dome over the top of it okay now I'm not sure that that's sealed real good so I will put that on a uh, tray to bake when my temperature comes up and I'm going to poke some holes in the top crust so the steam comes out small tray to set that in. Um, I don't want that to be big enough. Just barely. Just barely, but it does stay in there. Okay. Press that down a little bit harder in the sides. Maybe take my fork and press it down so it kind of seals it together. So this has to cook, like I said, for about 30 minutes. Um, if you've got leftover beef, and this is something you might want to do, you don't have to season it this way. Put your favorite se seasonings in it. Uh, Tom's is Mexican, so that's what I'm doing. And uh, a little fresher pie crust would not have hurt. Alrighty. And we are not ready. That oven is not ready. It takes forever for my new oven to uh, come up to speed. I love it. It cooks well. Uh, I love the range top. It cooks really well. But the oven takes forever to come up in temperature. And my old one, you could just turn it on and it would just come up and be there. So I should have turned that on before I ever even started cooking. Because it's not, it's not there yet. It's starting to. I'm going to move this off the stove. I have got some cleanup to do. And get this up here. And then I'll come clean up my mess while we're waiting for that to come up to temperature. I've lost the lid to my cornstarch. Aha, I see it. Okay, I'm going to try to see if I can pause this and not lose it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I can or not. So we're going to see. So I'm going to...